Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, the 6th of May 2023 here uh, this morning. So obviously a couple of days after the local elections in England, uh, where the Heritage Party was standing, 65 candidates, as you probably know, if you watch some videos of mine before uh, about this topic. So uh, all the results are in now. Uh, they came in through the day yesterday. And it's clear now that the Heritage Party has made really good, steady, solid progress across the country. So our our vote share, um, where we stood as a percentage of the number of um, people who cast a ballot, uh, is up by 80%, over 80%. So um, that is great news. And uh, I just want to say thank you again to all of the people who stood for the Heritage Party this time, who put their heads above the parapet and uh, stood up for common sense because we want to restore our nation and turn things back uh, the right way up and the way that they should be. Um, so fantastic. Thank you. I'm so proud of everyone who stood uh, for the Heritage Party this year. You've all conducted yourselves uh, with immense dignity and um, wisdom and uh, shown great knowledge and great... Um, uh, awareness of the issues which face our country and the future. Uh, so, so thank you so much. And thank you so much again also all to everybody who's voted for us and everybody who supported us and uh, volunteered and uh, joined us over the last uh, few weeks uh, this year and uh, everyone else. Is, I can't do it by myself. I need all of you to, to join in and help, and you have done. And what's very interesting this year is that the nature of comments and feedback I'm getting is very, very different to last year. And last year, um, we didn't have as many candidates as we have now. We got four times as many candidates this year than last year. And a lot of people were commenting, oh, why don't you just go home? You know, you're never going to do it. You're never going to make an impact. Well, we have made an impact and we are making an impact. But what's happening this year is a lot more people are saying the majority of comments I'm getting is like, well, I've, I've never heard of you until now, but I love your manifesto. I wish we had a Heritage Party candidate standing in my ward in Newcastle, in Derby, in, uh, uh, in in Somerset, wherever. Somerset didn't have elections this year, but all, you know, get the point. All over the country, people are asking me, like, oh, are you going to have a Heritage Party candidate next time, next year? And the answer is yes, if enough people come and join uh, me and put their heads above the parapet as well to stand. I mean, this year there were 8,000 council seats. No party stood in all 8,000 seats, not even the parties that have been around for over 100 years. Uh, they didn't stand everywhere. We would like to be able to stand everywhere, <laughs> however many um, seats are up for election. But certainly... I want to do that in the general election, which we know will be next year. So I need 650 people to come and join me and put themselves forward to stand and just stand for common sense, for freedom, for family, for nation, the things that we stand for in the Heritage Party. Because if you don't, we're going to get uh, one or more globalist parties in power again. Uh, and, and we can't have that. You know, we, we simply can't have that uh, continuing in this country. Now, the way the media is spinning the results of this election is what well, they're not talking about us at all. Um, but what they are saying is, oh, it wasn't it a terrible night for the Tories. They lost a thousand seats. Wasn't it a great night for Labour? They won 500 seats. Oh, and the Lib Dems and the Greens, they won hundreds of seats as well. Uh, isn't that isn't that interesting? Well, it isn't particularly interesting to me because they're all the same. Whether you have fake Conservative, Labour, Lib Dem or Green, it doesn't matter that the Tories have lost a thousand seats and the Labour, Lib Dems and the Greens have gained those seats because they're all just following Agenda 2030. They're all following wokery. They're all implementing the um, transgender agenda, uh, which is just barking mad and and very, very harmful to children who are exposed to it. And they're all the same. 
So it doesn't matter to me. It makes no odds to me whether you know the blue team have lost a thousand and the red team have gained a thousand and the green and the yellow team have gained a you know whatever. Well, whatever. Uh, they're all the same. But we are making progress and we are eating into that slowly. <clears throat> what it what it is very interesting. Also, is the turnout was so low. I'm really below 30% on average was the turnout. So, you know, in a general election, normally 60 to 70% of people vote. Now, in local elections, the turnout's normally pretty dire anyway, 30 to 40%. But this year, it's even lower than normal. So people are just staying away because they're just disgusted with those four parties that I've mentioned. Um, but again, this goes back to what I said before. When people hear about us in the Heritage Party, they love what we stand for, love our manifesto, want to vote for us. And so, you know, those of you who've heard of the Heritage Party for the first time, uh, welcome on board and uh, thank you for voting for us and thanks for your support. Um, of course, it takes time to build awareness of who we are and we this is only our third election cycle and uh, we're building up to be able to stand candidates everywhere so um we will continue to do that and uh whatever happens next time we'll have more candidates and local elections and we'll have uh, as many candidates as we can in the general elections and my aim is to stand everywhere next in the general elections so that every single house in the country gets a leaflet about the heritage party so everyone will know about us and hear about us and uh, have the opportunity to vote for us and for our manifesto but anyway once again thank you so much to everyone who supported us and stood for us and um that is the end of this local election cycle and then we move straight on to the next thing, getting ready for the general elections next year. So you will hear lots more from me and all of our candidates over the coming months. OK, thank you, everyone. God bless you all.